Hey everybody, it's Corey from More Guitars and More Music in Evansville, Indiana with another edition of Little, Little Guy, Guy with a Big with Guitar. Big Welcome, glad to have you. Today we're going to talk about Fender Jazz Basses. I really love a jazz bass in that they are one of the most comfortable instruments, bass instruments to play. Uh, they all feature smallish necks with an inch and a half nut width, uh, a very nice, all of these that we have today have a, uh, a C-shaped neck, some modern, some more vintage, we'll get into that piece by piece. What makes a jazz bass a jazz bass? Well, there are a few things. One, besides the nut width, uh, the two single coil pickups in it, jazz bass pickups, they've been laid out like this since they were invented. Uh, and it has really become a very versatile instrument for a lot of people. Uh, typically you'll find two jazz bass pickups, single coil jazz bass pickups in a jazz bass. Another thing that makes it a jazz bass is that it is an offset body. What does that mean? A precision bass, when you look at where the hips are, and that's the indented parts on the instrument, they line up straight across from each other. On a jazz bass, it's an offset. So this hip is slightly offset from this hip. The design concept in 1954 was that it would be more comfortable to play sitting down, and which it is. It's a, a very, very comfortable instrument uh, where they have this placed. Uh, put your hand in a very comfortable position to uh, affect several different tones, whether you play up near the neck to get a, a rounder, more tubby sound, or you play back near the bridge to get a brighter, snappier, more staccato sound. Also, most jazz basses have the iconic Fender headstock. They come in four and five string models now. We're not gonna get into any five string or extended range basses today. So, Let's get down and talk about some of these models that I have today. This is the Fender Squire Affinity Jazz Bass. So this is one of the more economical uh, and cost efficient jazz basses in the line. It features a poplar body with a maple neck and Indian laurel fingerboard. Uh, it does have a, a truss rod. Of course, just like we talked about, the two jazz bass pickups. In this particular model, it has ceramic magnet pickups, which seem to have a, a very bright, very forward sound. So if you're looking for a jazz bass with a little bit more modern sound, maybe these ceramic pickups are for you. Here is the neck pickup on the Squire Affinity Jazz. sound I like it okay let's go to the bridge pickup on this again the tones all the way up on it all right great sound Let's have both pickups uh, up and I'll play a little something. That is the classic jazz bass sound. Great sounding instrument, uh, very affordable. Check it out. We don't have these listed on our website in particular, but if you give us a call, we can get one in your hands. 
This is the Fender Squire Classic Vibes 60s Jazz Bass. This one happens to be done in a always uh, in fashion black with a tortoiseshell pick guard. It features also a poplar body, a maple neck with an Indian laurel fingerboard. Uh, it does have standard tuners on it. These pickups are a little different than the Squire Affinity in that they are an Alnico. I can't really tell if they're Alnico 2 or Alnico 5. I'm kind of leaning towards Alnico 2. They do sound uh, a bit warmer and a little bit rounder than, than most Alnico 5s, uh, but we can verify that for you. Features a great sound, great feel on this. This does have a gloss neck, uh, so if uh, you have sticky, sweaty hands, uh, that may be a problem for you. For the most part, I don't have a problem with that. Uh, I have bases with satin and, and gloss necks. You learn to get around on them. Uh, it does feature the inch and a half wide nut width. This is a great sounding bass. I think it has a bit more output than the Squire Affinity uh, with the ceramic pickups, but basically the same materials, just done up a little better with a, a little bit better electronics package. So let's have a listen to it. I'm going to uh, roll all the knobs up so the tone controls all the way up as is uh, each volume control for the pickup. So here's what it sounds like. This is a huge, punchy sounding bass guitar. Let's have a listen to just the neck pickup. definitely see where that thick tone comes from. It's from this, this neck, neck uh, middle position, front position pickup in this particular guitar. Let's have a listen to the bridge pickup. Really snappy, really tight, focused sound out of the, the neck pickup. Uh, great playing, great sounding. For the money, I personally think that the Classic Vibe series gives you a whole lot of instrument for the dollars that you're spending. Uh, definitely check this one out, Classic Vibe 60s Jazz Bass. This is the Fender Vintera's 60s Jazz Bass. This one is in a gorgeous Daphne blue. Features a, an alder body, so a little different than the Squires we just looked at with uh, poplar bodies. It also features a, a maple neck, and this one has a Pau Ferro uh, fingerboard. This is made in their Ensenada, Mexico factory. They've been making instruments there for a long time, and the quality is really high on these. Uh, this series is really great. This happens to be one of my favorite jazz bass models uh, that Fender makes. I just think it sounds like a classic jazz bass, like all the classic jazz basses that I've played. So let's have a listen to it. And uh, it does feature uh, Alnico pickups in it also. Uh, a little less output than the uh, classic vibe, but I think you'll hear some subtle differences in the tone of these pickups and this instrument compared to the other. Classic sounding. Yeah, Ventura. 
So let's have a listen to the neck pickup, the middle position pickup on this. Great sounding neck pickup. Let's roll up the bridge pickup. I think uh, out of uh, between the Squires and this Ventera series, this is my favorite position uh, out of these three. I think it is a, a really, really cutting, very nice tone. Let's have a listen. I'm gonna play a little closer to the bridge to give you a kind of that, that Jocko tone without all the Jocko chops. Rest his soul, I'll never be able to play like him, but here is that bridge pickup. <laughs> Great, funky, tight sound, uh, really something usable uh, that's going to cut through a band extremely well. So this is the Fender Ventera 60s Jazz Bass. This is the Fender American Professional 2 Jazz Bass. This is a mystic seafoam green, so it has a, a bit of metal flake inside of a seafoam green finish. This one is a little bit different in that it is uh, a one-piece maple neck. Really, really outstanding bass. Everything about this uh, is professional, like, just like the name says, high quality V-Mod 2 pickups. So they've used a mixture of Alnico 5 and Alnico 2 magnets in these to, to balance the sound out a little bit so you get a nice warm low end and you get a nice crisp top end to it. This does have rolled fingerboard edges, lightweight low profile tuners, a high mass bridge. This does feature an alder body. It's got two graphite reinforcement rods inside of the neck to ensure that it stays true uh, for years and years and years. Uh, just a, a super great, well-made American instrument. This is made in Corona, California. Does have a nice neck heel carve to it. Also has a satin finish on the neck, which is a great, great uh, thing to have. Also, this one uh, strings through the body, as does the Ventera. The classic vibe. Uh, and the affinity string through the bridge, a little bit different feel, a little bit different tone. This is what we're all looking for, is that, that one really nice professional instrument that you can pass down to your kids, or like, if you're like me, you hate the thought of anyone else touching your, your beloved bass guitar, and you'll probably be buried with it, as opposed to let anybody touch your, uh, your lifelong friend. So. Here is this bass, all the, all the volume and tone controls rolled all the way up, uh, and we'll have a listen. Yeah, that's the tone. That's the sound. It's growly. Uh, it is fairly meaty. It's got a lot of presence in the mid-range and top end, which you want. If you're playing with a band, you want to find that right sonic space. Uh, both pickups up on this with the tone control up is where it's at. Let's check out the neck pickup in this middle position, and uh, we'll have a listen.
Can you hear that? It's still going. And it will for a long, long time. That is uh, one thing about these instruments. Uh, they're built so solidly. Everything is put together in, uh, in a measured build so as to give you as much sustain as you would ever need. Here is the neck pickup, or excuse me, I keep saying, I keep screwing that up. Here is the bridge pickup on this American Professional 2. All right. I hope this gave you a little bit of insight as to the differences in what's basically the same guitar. You know, when people say you can buy any jazz bass and it's always going to sound like a jazz bass, yes, it will. Uh, generally speaking, no, it won't in specific instances. You can hear a, a difference in whether it's a, a very warm sounding bass, whether it's a really punchy sounding bass. Uh, you can find a jazz bass to fit any style of music and they work everywhere, anywhere and everywhere you need a bass guitar. So you can find this model or any of these other jazz basses at moreguitars.com or at More Music in Evansville, Indiana.